God, I haven't made a video in a year. This is my first video in like a year. Dude, That's a joke, isn't it, Dad? I love the dad jokes. We know. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. I know I did a video like this last year. We was kind of like 2020 in a review. I guess I just wanted to sit in front of the camera and talk about how my year went. Looking back on it, I know a lot of people were like, oh my God, 2021 stop. Looking back on it, a lot of great things actually happened to me in 2021. So I just want to share that with you. Right, get on with it. January. Oh, we're starting starting it off on a sad note. January 8th, my cousin's dog passed away and it was so hard and I miss her so much. So it was not a great start to the new year, but then things started to turn around. I got to work with an amazing company. It's called Gnarly Garbo. I will insert their Instagram here. And I did a little promo for them and gave away, did my first giveaway and gave away some of their merch. And from that, I made really cool friends uh, the people that work at that company. So that was fun. Fun. January, I also started a TikTok and blew up on TikTok. Now I don't really post anymore, but I probably should because, you know, people are doing quite well on TikTok. February. February, it was nothing really special. March. March, I was actually grateful enough to go back on set and film for a television show. So that was pretty cool. I'll insert some photos. And I was on set for two or three days, which was really fun. It took place at a, a dance studio. And honestly, just being back on set, it made me forget about everything that was going on in the world. And I could just focus on acting and I really like that. Acting! I shot a short film, which was fun. We got to go to a bar after hours and shoot a couple of scenes there. Um, but then we got locked down again. So finishing that short film, it took us like two more months until things reopened again. March, I also shot some photos for my merch. So my first ever merch sample came in. I was working on that for literally months. Like since December, I was working on it. Um, and then, cause I wanted it to be perfect, you know? Like I wasn't gonna sell you guys crap. Okay, I appreciate that. So I finally got in some samples of my merch. My friend, we went around and took some promo photos for it and I set up my online merch store and did a lot of promotion and then I released my merch. Uh, if you guys want to buy it, link in the bio, uh, please buy it to support me. If you can't, then there's my PayPal if you want to just give me like a $20 donation or something like that. Anything helps, okay? April. April, it was like, there's like nothing. Oh, actually, April is when I started working um, with the company Couple. I, I, ha I have to do a whole video on them, but basically they're an online speed dating platform. So I host online speed dating events with them and it's really fun. And I actually made a lot of friends through that. Um, it's a really cool experience. It's free if anyone wants to sign up and talk to me. I know a couple of you guys have actually come on the platform just to talk to me and it's like super fun. If you're 18 or older, Sorry, but we don't serve minors. Anywhere in the world, it's open worldwide. If you wanna to come to the Toronto or Atlanta events or the Europe events, then you can, you can sign up. I'll leave my information in the description below, but it's just a cool way to talk to people and make connections. You don't actually necessarily have to date the person, but you just talk to a bunch of us and it's really fun. May? It's gonna be May. May, I did a collab with Every Jewels, which is like a huge, jewelry company. I think they're based in Toronto or at least Canada. Oh, oh, Canada. So that was really fun doing a little collab with them. June. June, I got new acting headshots, which to you guys, it's probably like nothing, but I've been needing new headshots for a while. I'll show you my old ones versus my new ones. And that actually got me a lot more gigs and auditions. So I'm just grateful that I could get new headshots done. It's been a while. July. <laughs> July is the month that literally everything changed. So I wanna say starting May or something, with the same company that I do the speed, speed dating events with, they have a television show, it's called Couple TV. It's just like an online dating show. So they asked me if I wanted to participate on it. 
uh, be a contestant along with some other people that you know, like Che, Mackenzie, and Jared. So we all were contestants on this speed dating reality show and the grand prize was $10,000 and a trip to Jamaica and I actually won that and I could choose who to bring with me to Jamaica. So I chose Jared's. We got a trip to freaking Jamaica. We got to go to Jamaica for a week, which literally changed my life. I did not post the Jamaica vlog. I have to do that. I have all the footage. It's a very fun vlog. So that's gonna be, uh, you know, coming soon, I hope. Coming soon to a theater near you. I've never traveled that far away from home and never been away from home for that long. So it was incredible. I think I found myself, like I got more independent and I was just like, wow, this is what my life could be. Like traveling, going to all these places. I'm broke, I can't afford to travel by myself. And obviously because of Jamaica, Jared and I got closer or whatever, I don't know. July was a huge freaking month for me because I was also looking at apartments to move out to. And so right before moving to Jamaica that Friday, I got my apartment. And so I moved some of my stuff. Then I went to Jamaica and two days later after coming back, we moved the rest of my stuff into my apartment. Uh, and that's so exciting. Like I got my own little space and I've been wanting it for a while. It's just incredible that I actually managed to convince my parents to let me move out. And now I am living paycheck to paycheck. It's brutal out there. Also I'm renting, I don't, I'm not, I don't own it. That's why I'm broke. But I'm hoping that a miracle will happen. I'm hoping that my YouTube channel will take off. Something will happen. I just feel more creative and independent here. And that's, that's really what I needed. Just a space to call my own. It's independent. August and then August was a big month because I was like screw this. It's gonna be a time for change I've always wanted to dye my hair girl. Don't do it. It's not worth it I'm not gonna do it girl. I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it I'm just thinking about it. 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 I did it and so I did the little blonde, which it may not look good right now, but I'll insert some photos of what it looked like when it was done fresh. And that was something that I wanted to get done for a while. And I also got my nose pierced and another piercing here because I've been wanting that for a while. So yeah, I was just like, you know, finding myself. This is so cheesy, but I was. So cheesy? End of August, I also got to work on another television show. That one was really fun. I was on set for about a week doing like late night shoots. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm on a heist right now. <laughs> we're about to go, I was gonna say rob a bank, but that's not what we're doing. We're gonna go steal some paintings. I don't even know why we recruited her. Like, she <laughs> doesn't even know what we're robbing. We're gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. That's what we're doing. I thought it, it was the Mona Lisa. This is, no, this is National Treasure Part 3. That's what we're filming. Yeah. you how you're gonna do that. It was just so much fun. It was hectic because I still had to work for Most Amazing. So I was working for Most Amazing nine to like three and then like four to like one in the morning I was on set. And then again, I was up at like seven. It was, it was, it was disgusting. It was hard, but I just, I love acting and being on set. It was so much fun. It's September, Jonathan. September was me just like still decorating and unpacking my apartment. Also, I found my love for sewing and I've been sewing a bunch of stuff and creating my own clothes, which is really cool. And I want to continue doing that, like creating my own clothes, maybe having my own custom clothing line. I don't know, but I really want to continue going on that path. Wake me up when September ends. October. October was spooky season. It was just Halloween all month. So I'll insert some photos from my Halloween. Enjoy. Also, October, it was really cool because I got to combine my interest in thrifting and secondhand and YouTube and get a private shopping experience at the thrift store by pounds. So that was really freaking cool. You know, if any other thrift store wants to sponsor me or, you know, let me come in for a private shopping experience, please. I love that. October, I also went to a farm with Jared and his family. They brought me to a farm and I got a pet a cow. So, and lots of animals. 
and I learned that I love goats. <laughs> also October, I got to work with an underwear line. It sounds weird. I did the Christmas collection line, so uh, you might want to, you know, check out your check out Instagram because you might see my ads floating all over the place. And I was on set for them just reviewing the underwear. Ew, I hate it. the panties. Ew. How about lingerie? Anyways, oh my god, and I got to go to Niagara Falls. So Jared and I just both needed a break from everything. So we decided to go to Niagara Falls because, you know, it's you can drive there and it's cheap. And we spent the weekend there. I also have a vlog that I need to post for Niagara Falls. Thank you, thank you. Jenny, you're looking great. Justin, I high five you, but you know, wow, this is great. How's it going there, bud? So I'm just trying to eat, but uh, they want me to share. Oh, I said share and he calmed down. Unless you like share the musical artist then. But uh, that was super fun. I uh, got to go to a lot of wax museums that I've always wanted to go to and we did an escape room, which is so much fun. If you guys know, I love escape rooms. So that was so much fun. November. November also changed my life because I was selected to be a vendor at the street market, which is the GTA's biggest traveling clothing, vintage clothing show. And I was a vendor and dude, changed my life. I wanna do this every month. I wanna have like a pop-up where everyone can come and like shop my vintage pieces. It was so much fun just being a part of the vintage community and like talking to everyone and just sharing the love for thrifting and making money. <laughs> and I wanna continue working on that. Like I wanna have, I know I sell on Depop and like Poshmark and stuff like that, but I want a bigger, clothing store you know like half my friends they have their own like actual storefront so absolutely would love that that's one of my plans for sure December, December. <laughs> and then it was december aka my birthday month party 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 it was my birthday on the 13th super fun went to an escape room gotta go thrifting all day incredible and then it was christmas so this is christmas uh, i'll have a christmas and holiday vlog coming up soon two thousand years later and i think that was it so, so the trip to jamaica being a vendor at the huge vintage pop-up it just those experiences right there literally just it made 2021 worth it. And I hope you guys can reflect back and, and pick out the good that happened this year. Also getting my apartment, sorry, I forgot about that. But yeah, I hope you guys can like think about the good that happened this year and not just focus on the negative all the time. I know it was hard. Like I said, there was still lockdowns and stuff like that, but things are getting better. And um, I think that's all for me. That's all, bro. That's all for me. More videos coming shortly. Please give me a big thumbs up because it helps me out. Comment something down below and obviously subscribe to my channel. Stick around for some bloopers and uh, I'll see you when I see ya. Bye. Oh no, I gotta add this in here. Also, this is the most important thing of all. My lovely friend Nico is editing for me and literally we hit 20K subscribers and my watch time is going up like crazy and I don't think I could have done it without her. So everyone go give her a follow. Her information is in the description. Nico, insert your face here. Insert something of yourself. Shout out yourself. Well, hello there. I'm Nico, if y'all didn't know. I hope you know. If not, that's okay. Now you know. It's Nico. Hey! Not the point I'm trying to make here. Uh, Lindsay, I love you. Thank you so much for the opportunity to edit for you. It's been so much fun uh, just honing my skills and just being able to be creative and having that freedom. So I, I really appreciate that. And I love working with you. And I'm so excited to see what 2022 brings. Maybe a Nico and Lindsay collab? Who knows, guys? But yeah, and to everyone watching, thank you so much for supporting Lindsay and supporting me too. You really don't have to, but I really appreciate it. I see you all, um, and I read your comments, positive and negative, about the editing, and I do take that to heart, but I learned from it, and I think that's really important. But yeah, thank you all so much. If you want to follow me, it's Nico Queen. You just replaced the O with a zero. I should be on Nico Queen on everything. I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys. Ah, I'm not good at these. Ah! She is honestly amazing. I love you. I couldn't have done it without her. So I'm so thankful that she's on my team. Now it's the end of the video. And then you can put the part of, I don't know where to start or what I'm going to even talk about. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and they asked me if I wanted to participate it. Uh, mm. Also October, I uh, 
got to work with, uh, 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 um, oh my god, no, 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 November. So the trip to Jamaica and being a vendor at the clothing store, no. 